Good afternoon people, it's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with a, another little pour on a, um, this is a little Montmartre canvas, they're really nice little canvases single thickness and it's 25 by 30 centimetres I am using um, a little bit of the Montmartre, a little bit of the Montmartre pouring paint with a little bit of um, just studio acrylics. It's just a little bit of paint that I had left from a, a flip cup pour that I just did in all, um, which you may have seen by now, which was all in the um, Montmartre pouring paints only. So I have a few colours left and I'm deciding I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment because the little bit of colours that I have left I had mixed just a little bit of the acrylic flow medium into them and I added two drops of Helmar silicone so I'm just going to do on this little canvas a little test because I'm not sure I've done this in a long time um, I'm going to do a swipe in, in a almost black just grabbing a cloth because I forgot to grab one. Um, I'll explain as I go along. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So now I'll use these colours first. So this was the coral in the pouring paint. So this is a little bit on the runny side, which is fine for this kind of pour, I believe. So I'll just use that up. I've got plenty to tilt to go over the edges not that I worry about that and not that any of you guys should feel stressed about acrylic pouring at all you should use it as a relaxation time because in the end it's only paint you don't have to stress over it and the um, there's no rules the only rule is there's no rules so you haven't got to worry one little iota so that was the coral and this is the turquoise I believe yeah so I'm going to do it in this kind of fashion that I would do a swipe with my studio acrylics like this but I don't believe I've done one with the pouring paints for quite a while now so we'll just give it a go flow um, this one what colour was that it was the peppermint I think I'll just double check uh, it's called oh light this one's called light aquamarine and it's in the pouring paints these paints you can get off Amazon if you're in the UK or the US you can get all the um, Montmartre stuff and you can also get the Helmar silicon so I'm told in the US off Amazon and UK if you're in Australia lucky enough that we've got um, our online store Capriol Shabby Chic and the link is in the drop down box so that should all be good just tilt a little bit of this just tilt it nice and slowly just to um, cover the canvas nice and even and then you just re um, balance or realign or what you call it recenter your paint so it's not all down one end or the other so it kind of rem why it reminds me of pelican I don't know maybe the pinky or pinky pink pelican or um, don't ask me why I've got a crazy mind today crazy mind maybe I've got a crazy mind every day all I think of is in color I dream colors I think colors traveling along with her husband in the car and all I'm doing is thinking oh look at that color oh that color would look nice with crazy so this was a little bit of fluoro paint I had left so this was um, fluoro paint 
it was the Montmartre acrylic paint but it was just a bit of fluoro so there you go I've popped that in there so not wasting anything never give up on your art if you don't like the look of it just keep trying and, and don't forget that um, what what's one person's pain is another one's pleasure so somebody may like it I'm gonna go over this with a swizzle of white That's my swizzle, okay? You're all up with the swizzles. So this was, this was the studio acrylic, but it was, I did the lamp black with a dash of the phalo blue. So it's, it's kind of, it actually makes the black go a blacker black, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean like. So I'm gonna do my swipe from the top there. I will get a piece of, oh, I can find it, ah. soft plastic, this is just a soft plastic file divider that you will find in a stationery shop. It's just, it's not really light and flimsy, it's got a little bit of weight about it and I just find this the absolute best swiping tool and the thing is is that you can wash it off every single time and just keep reusing it so it's a little bit better than using your um, uh, kitchen roll I, I think anyway my opinion in my opinion here's the puppies decided to come in from the paddock so it probably is a bit of a harsh colour that I could have used probably a lot, um, just a, a navy or something, but it's what I had left, so I'm gonna just go with it and see what gorgeousness we can possibly get out of this, if any, but you know what, you just have to try. So that was that, I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm gonna get my heat gun my big mama wand I call it. it they are called heat embossing embossing wand um, if you're looking for them in the US or UK you will get them off Amazon or eBay uh, if you're in Australia easy peasy lemon squeezy just go on to Capriol www dot capriol shabby chic dot com dot au the link is in the drop down box and they sell this one and they sell uh well one like this so i've got a few <laughs> um so they have them on there oh oh look at the champagne sales oh my word oh my word oh i love it when those happen i love it when those little teeny tiny teeny tiny champagne cells a whole different thing to my uh, big clusters i love them That will continue to develop in those she shells. <laughs> shells, oh my God. She shells on the seashore. Those <laughs> cells, teeny tiny champagne cells. Oh, got champagne on the brain. I haven't even had a champagne for donkey's use. Okay, if you don't want to add anything else and you want to leave it as a starry night, then look away now, look away, look away, oops, um, I'm going to give it the kiss of life with, this is just an ordinary balloon, put underneath my tap to add a little bit of water, um, and it just, it, it just lasts ages and ages, and then you just go on to the next one, but it just gives a nice little bit of weight, and it gives like little, little teeny tiny baby kisses, there you go, so I'm going to try, oh, oh, look at these. They look like f uh, butterflies and dragon dragonflies. 
Oh, I love it. Yes, I could be pressing the balloon into another canvas, but I'm not going to right now. I'm going to keep with my my little fireflies and dragonflies. I love this. I haven't done this for such a long time. I mean, I've done lots of balloon, but I haven't done it with these little champagne cells like this in these pouring paints, and they are really seem to work well creating champagne cells. Oh, so I'm going to just work around and if you were doing it you just do it the way you feel is right for you so I'm just going to make like a bit of a frame with the champagne with the oh, I've got champagne on the melon on the brain oh just doing a bit of a bit of a frame it really does look like fireworks in the night sky so there you go USA and your um, Independence Day happy birthday and <laughs> there you go I've done some fireworks for you to celebrate I don't want to do them I'm, I'm just going to do the frame sort of frame it around this one area doesn't that look pretty well I think so anyway and you know you're the only one you have to please in this in your art room your rules your way so don't worry about anything that anybody may say or do your rules and my rules are there's no rules so there you go don't get caught up on the small stuff don't sweat the small stuff I love it I love it I don't think I should go around the top what do you think guys I wish I could hear you okay I love that I love it absolutely love it I love it with these teeny weeny little champagne cells and my little fireflies and dragonflies or fireworks so there you go all celebration in one painting so there's champagne in there and there's fireworks what else could you wish for happiness on a canvas i love it oh my gosh oh i hope you love it as much as i do but i really really love that see that was out of my last bits of leftovers i've definitely got to keep a record of that because that's created such a beautiful like night sky and loveliness just loveliness wouldn't it look nicer in brighter colors chilly colors as we'd call it okay thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't done so please do so there's lots of fun and games on this channel and just light and easy lemon squeezy relaxation so until next time bye for now but wait on till the very end to see the dried photographs i'll add to the end and i'll also add my joke on the end too while the photographs play bye for now okay i am back and i'm gonna do something uh, I just sent a photograph to Lizzie and she said she actually wanted the kiss and blow technique but in these colours so I'm going to swipe this you probably all scream your little hearts out but I did a little little one with leftovers of those paints and swiped it and it turned out like this and I just love it so I'm going to go on and swipe this one it probably give you all a heart attack but I'm going to do it I have this very black blue it was the studio acrylics and it was um, just mixed with my normal pouring medium and I added the dark phalo blue so it kind of gives it a blacker black but I'm gonna do it I know that you're probably all saying what is she doing to that painting but I loved how it just came out on that test piece so here I go. I'm gonna do it. Do it. So don't look any further if you don't want to see. Oh, that was not good. I missed a bit. But you know what? You don't worry about that. That can be fixed. Absolutely fixed. So no problem.
just your soft plastic file divider I might go over that area again like this just nice and slowly let's try and get rid of that space yes it did it lovely 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 I know somebody will be oh why did she do that she ruined it but you know that's okay because if you're doing it then you stop at that point that you like it but when it's somebody else's work then they have to decide what's the right time to whether you make a mistake and realize it's a mistake at the end then it's you know it's your mistake isn't it but i just love that so much as a a night sky i use my heat one so here we go here's my heat one to get the little champagne cells try and do it really quickly for you so you haven't got to stay on much longer but these champagne cells popped up in that last one and i just loved it so much and i'm going to do a frame in the balloon kisses Maybe I might add this particular video just to the end of that small one that I did so <laughs> I don't upset you guys with the uh, ruining it. Anyway, there you go. You usually have not got to worry about upsetting anyone because the only person you're working for is yourself. And it's what pleases you in your art, not what somebody else believes is right. As you can see, these little champagne cells will continue... To develop kind of looks like a really nice I know which way I'm gonna do that I'm only gonna blow my balloon up a little way because um, I don't want big balloony I don't want big kisses and I I've put the belly button of the balloon through my hand I've grabbed it I like the balloon to stay that it's got a bit of softness in it so you can um have got control of it and you can push it quite a fair way into your canvas what 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 which way this way okay it's all right i'm just okay pretty but not too pretty just get my drift as i'm going it's probably good to mostly um, wipe off your balloon in between every balloon kiss because it'll um, it'll not make the paints muddy up as you if you're pressing them but you can do a couple sometimes and it doesn't affect it too much oh I just love how these balloon kisses come out with those champagne cells. Um, you wait till I turn it around your way if you'll see what I'm seeing, but you're maybe seeing something completely different um, than I am. Just keep going with it. Yeah, I really love the effects with this. Um, this is the Montmartre pouring paints have with this particular um, balloon kissing and swipe or swipe and balloon kissing um, might get some of my tiny balloon in those areas so it kind of looks like fireworks over the ocean in a night sky and I will show you what I am trying to if I turn it around this way for you turn it around this way if you can see 
it kind of looks like an ocean and then this is like framing it this way sort of like it could be like just fireworks in the night sky but when you do it with this tiny water balloon, balloon filled with water, it's not water balloon, these give like the effects then of little dragonflies, fireflies and dragonflies or whatever you call them. Or fireworks. It's kind of, I think you'll see what I'm seeing from that angle. You may uh, see something completely different. Or I could have it. Could I ever, could ever, could ever have it this way? Oops, a daze. Oh my goodness, there's so many, like I'm so excited with it. It's gorgeous, I love it. I'm going to leave it there with you and I'll please get your co comments um, and what you think. Oh yeah, it looks like looking, if you can see where I'm seeing, you're looking out and an horizon at the back and night sky. And it's just framed by those lovely yeah i'm off in a world of my own okay thank you guys for putting up with me <laughs> and my crazy craziness but i hope you like it so bye for now okay i as you can see i did some chopping and changing in this video but i'm very happy with the both work so but my joke for the day is when does a dad joke Oh, when does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. Oh my goodness. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. Never lands? Uh oh. Roll your eyes, tap your head, do whatever you need to do. Bye for now.